Hey friends, how's everyone doing today? Oops, there I go again. I just can't seem to get this catchy tune out of my head. But wait, something else is tickling my mind right now. Wow! Look, a butterfly. It's so pretty, isn't it? Come on, let's follow it and learn all about the magical life of a butterfly. Did you know that a butterfly goes through four amazing stages before it starts fluttering around? Those stages are the egg, the caterpillar, the pupa, and finally the full-grown butterfly. This whole process is called metamorphosis. It all begins with a tiny egg. Butterfly eggs can be all sorts of shapes and colors. But they have one thing in common. They're wrapped in a thin but sturdy shell for protection. And at the top, there's a special little spot called the micropyle. That's where air and water sneak into the egg to help the little one grow. After three to seven days, it's time for the big hatch. The little larva inside breaks through the shell with its tiny jaws and out comes a caterpillar. It's time for the caterpillar to eat, eat and eat some more. Did you know that a caterpillar's first meal is often the very egg? It hatched from? After that, it chomps down on the leaves of the plant where it was born. This is its major feeding stage and it lasts about 2 to 5 weeks. And, boy, do they grow fast. When it's grown enough, the caterpillar finds a cozy spot and spins a silk pad around itself. Now, it's time for a rest as it turns into a pupa. If you keep your eyes peeled in the garden, you might spot one hanging from a twig or leaf. The pupa has a special protective shell called the chrysalis. Inside, a magical transformation happens. After one to two weeks, the chrysalis cracks open and out comes a beautiful butterfly ready to spread its wings. And that's how we get those lovely butterflies you see dancing among the flowers. But did you know that a butterfly's average life is only about 20 to 40 days? Here's a cool fact for you. Butterflies taste with their feet. That's right, they use their feet to check out what's tasty. And have you noticed they always sit on flowers, not on branches? That's because they love sipping on the sweet nectar inside the flowers. So, friends, you know what to do. Plant more flowers around you and welcome these beautiful butterflies to your garden. It'll be like creating a little butterfly paradise. That's all for today, but don't forget to tune in next time for more fun facts.